So here we go. We have the case of... I don't know how to pronounce her name still. I've heard it pronounced a number of different ways. Gislaine Maxwell, Gislaine Maxwell. I've even heard Gislaine Maxwell, which... Almost too appropriate in a creepy way for uh, what she's accused of. So, it's her trial right now. Um, and... We're already getting some... Incredible little nuggets of information, bro. Take a look at this. Just in. Epstein's pilot names Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, Prince Andrew, Kevin Spacey, and others at the Ghislaine Maxwell trial. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Uh, now, what I find hilarious about this, we, we already knew this to one extent or another, we did. But what I find hilarious about this is all of the uh, hardcore right-wingers will swear up and down that, you know, their boy didn't do anything wrong. Trump cut off uh, Epstein as soon as he realized how creepy he was. This is stuff they actually believe and say. Um, and then you have the Democratic partisans who'd say, Bill Clinton, well, to be fair, there are more people on the Democratic side who admit Bill Clinton's creepy as fuck and is probably guilty of all this stuff. But there are some who are like, no, nah, just, just focus on the Trump one. Just focus on the Trump one. I'm here to tell you the truth, and that is, both of these dudes are creepy as hell. And um, I'm sure were involved in unimaginable things. Prince Andrew, we know the specifics about that dude. I mean, you have people coming out accusing him, and he tried to go on TV to smooth it over and act like it didn't happen, and he only made it worse for himself. Kevin Spacey? You know what I found? And you guys tell me if I'm wrong on this. But uh, Kevin Spacey is a great example. Whenever you have people who end up playing really creepy characters in a TV show or a movie, like what was the one Kevin Spacey was in? American Beauty, I think it was called. They play creepy characters on TV, on a TV show, or, or in a movie, and then they end up in real life being sort of creepy. And there's some stories that come out about like, oh, like when, what's his face? Chris D'Elia, I think his name is, the comedian, where he played on, on a show, was on the show You? He played this creepy sort of pedo type dude, and then in real life there were all these allegations that came out against him. I digress from that point, but it, it is, that is weird to me. It's like, they see the role and they're like, I sort of feel like that in real life, so let me, let me do that. Anyway, um, there's a, look, uh, what's the guy's name? Alan Dershowitz, he's another one who is, has been implicated, and he's going on the offense legally and, like, trying to sue and clear his name, and the more he does it, the less people believe him. And there was a documentary on Epstein that I watched that was very eye-opening about the extent of what was going on. So, let, let's put this in as, as... Plain language as possible. Jeffrey Epstein was the CEO, effectively, of Elite Sex Crimes Incorporated. And so, that dude knows where all the bodies are buried. Knows all the things that went on with all the rich, powerful, famous people. And so that's why you had unanimous agreement on the left and right that this motherfucker definitely didn't kill himself. There's no way he killed himself. Somebody axed him. And the joke I made on Twitter when I saw this thing about the pilot is, rest in peace to this pilot, because I'm sure there's a target on his back at this moment. And, uh, you know, Ghislaine Maxwell was Epstein's right-hand woman. And so she knows everything. So it's sort of surprising that she's still around at this current moment. Apparently, somebody wasn't able to get to her, at least not yet. So, what kind of specifics are going to come out in this trial? I don't know, dog, but if you've seen any of the Epstein documentaries, you know that uh, there's a lot of dirt out there. There's, and, and what's so funny to me is you have... So there's this faction on the right that always talks about this, you know, Alex Jones types that believe that you have these um, elite pedo sex rings, and it's like, well, here it is, and then they turn around and downplay certain aspects of it because Trump is implicated. As George Carlin said, it's a big club and you ain't in it. But this, I think, what it looks like on the outside is exactly what I think it is on the inside. Now, to be fair to the pilot, the pilot says, I personally didn't see any sexual activity going on because he was just the pilot. Um, but a lot of the stories, I mean, one of the people who already testified in the trial was a teenage, I think 14 at the time, and... Epstein sexually assaulted her, raped her, used her as, like, his plaything. Look, the specifics of how this guy did what he did is 
beyond disturbing. I mean, he would literally, you know, they would like troll middle schools and, and high schools and um, they would recruit one. And then when they recruit one, want one, they would tell them, you do your friends want to make money and they would bring them into, into the fold. And it was, it was just, you know, elite sex crimes incorporated and oftentimes with underage women and this guy, the other question is how did this guy get in such close proximity to these very rich and powerful people? Now there's the cover story, which there's at least some truth in, and then there's potentially the back, um, the background story and the cover story is he he sort of snuggled up and got close to uh, a well-known businessman. I forgot I forget the guy's name and I forget which businesses he ran and owned, but snuggled up to this guy who's like a billionaire or multi-hundred millionaire and um, uh, the guy only trusted Epstein and so that's how he was able to get his wealth and that's how he was able to get in these close circles. Um, but the other part of the story, which we've discussed previously based on other leaks, is that it's very possible he was uh, either involved with U.S. intelligence or Israeli intelligence. And in fact, there was, uh, I think, Steve, there was an article that came out recently. Steve Bannon apparently said behind the scenes early on when Trump was running that Epstein was the only person he was afraid of. And Epstein was like, you should have been. should be afraid of me. This was before he was locked up, obviously. Um, and in the room at the time was a former Israeli prime minister. Why is a former Israeli prime minister just chilling with Jeffrey Epstein? Maybe, just maybe, it's because he was Israeli intelligence. And it was a way for the Israeli government to get dirt on American elites and also uh, be able to hold, hold things over their head lest they deliver on the, uh, the various things that the U.S. supplies to Israel. Whether it be weapons systems, Iron Dome, money, whatever. So, we... I mean, I want to get to the bottom of this. I want to know all the facts of what went down. And I don't know if we're ever going to get all of them. But suffice to say, we already know this is the elite sex crimes pedo institute. And a lot of people are guilty. And I'm sure a whole list of who was involved. I don't know if we'll ever get that. I don't know if we'll ever have the details of all of it. But um, people deserve to know what these uh, supposed leaders of society are up to. And at least now we're getting a drip, drip, drip of information. Because by the way, one of the things everybody thought, oh, the log showed that Bill Clinton was always on Epstein's plane. So people knew that to some extent. But the Trump people always said, look, Trump's name is not mentioned, at least not often. So, but we know that Trump was friends with Epstein because there's videos of it and there's pictures of them. And, you know, their famous picture of Epstein at some wedding or whatever with Trump. And Trump's like, I think that one's hot. And he's dancing and shit. And it's like, Ugh. Um, no, apparently Trump was on that plane too. And there's a reason why Bannon was afraid of Epstein coming out. So, gross, man. So gross. Um, so I hope, uh, Just Lane goes down, and, uh, I hope we get more information, but... The almighty George Carlin, yet again, turns out to be correct. Big club, you ain't in it, etc., etc. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.